And the mission that we've been assigned is to support the State Department's uh, reduction in personnel by the end of the month. And so that's what we're focused on. That's the timeline we're focused on. And if we need to adjust, either way, left or right, we'll do that. Uh, but we're, we're going to always be looking at the security conditions in the ground. Tara. Thanks, John. Um, with the airlift planning that's going on, are you planning to get hundred, make the airlift available for hundreds of people getting out of the country, thousands? As you know, there were thousands of people based at U.S. Embassy Kabul, and there's as many as 18,000 interpreters that we're looking to get out. So yeah. can you give us an order of magnitude of this airlift mission? What I can't do is tell you exactly how many on any given day. What I can, but, but capacity, as I said, is not going to be a problem. Um, and uh, we will be able to move thousands per day. But that's just the airlift capacity. That doesn't uh, necessarily mean that you're going to end up with that every day. Uh, it's going to depend on the, the processing and, the, and, how, that, and how that goes. Uh, so we're, what we want to be able to do is, is to get there fast um, and get there capable uh, and be able to provide as much capacity to the State Department as we can. And our intention is to be able to move thousands per day. Okay. Um, separately, uh, as we've seen the different provincial capitals fall, um, is the Department of Defense surprised at how quickly it seems that the Afghan National Army has collapsed under Taliban pressure? We are certainly concerned by uh, the speed with which the Taliban has been moving. Um, and um, as we've said from the very beginning, uh, that uh, this is a and it still is uh, a, a moment for Afghan national security and defense forces as well as their political leadership. No outcome has to be inevitable here. I'm not going to speculate about surprise. We're obviously watching this just like you're watching this and seeing it happen in real time, uh, and it's deeply concerning. Uh, it's, in fact, the, the deteriorating conditions are a factor, a big factor, in why uh, the, the president has approved this mission to help support our the reduction of, of personnel uh, there in Kabul. 